Hey, how about them tops, son? All day, SEC boys. You're listening to the Red Out Podcast. Hello, everyone, and welcome into a Red Out short clip here. Uh, This is from our latest episode. Hope you enjoy. We are going to rank our favorite Bowling Green restaurants. Now, mine might be a little skewed or seem old, uh, but it's because I haven't really eaten Bowling Green in the uh, past few years. And if I do eat somewhere, I don't, I don't go to a lot of different places. Uh, my parents, nev- they would like go to McDonald's or Rafferty's, and that was like their two places they went to. So we never ate like out uh, when I lived. Uh, well, you lived down there. Oh, and when I lived down there, we went everywhere. Uh, my wife and I would go to several different places. Of course, she's one of these uh, kind of weirdos that doesn't like to go to new places, so it would be a struggle for me to get her to go places. Um, but I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go I'm gonna do Jake's. Uh, Jared will let you do yours real quick, and then uh, Ross will shoot to you. Uh, Jake's okay. Jake's first one. I'm, I'll read it. Because I had him text these in. Uh, and it, if you have the same ones, no big deal. Uh, uh, number five for Jake is overtime. Because it's rowdy and the wings are okay. <laughs> the only time I've ever eaten at overtime, I didn't even eat there. We went in. Um, there was no room. It was you know, it was just like, nah, this ain't for me. Uh, Hilligan's. Because they have a good grease ball pizza and cheap beer. You know, Whatever. Uh, number three... Rest in peace, froggies. Yeah. Okay. Number three, I don't think you can count this, but I'm going to let him go because he's not here tonight. Gads. That's Great American Donut Donut Shop, Shop? right? Yeah, that's what I said. I was like... I I thought he was meaning, like, Gaddy Land, and I was like, well, that's closed. But Great American Donut Shop? Sorry, Jake, that didn't count. Um, number two, Lost River... I went through to Bowling Green. Do it now? Last time I drove through Bowling Green, I had some Gads. I mean, that's, it's, it's easy, yeah, I mean, Gads is great, but I don't consider it a restaurant, but, you know, he's not here, I can't give him grief about it. Uh, number two, Lost River Pizza. Mm. Is it good? I've never had it. Yeah, that's on my list. Which oh, is it? Okay. Um, deep Dish. Deep Dish. Yeah, yeah. I said it's good stuff. Oh my gosh. The Deep Dish, I think, is good about anywhere, but I think next time I come down, I will have to try that. Uh, and number it's one. Chicago for, style, if you get it. Oh, really? Okay. That is exciting. I have not had their Chicago style. Um, number one is the Double Dogs or Montana Grill, which <laughs> I think Montana Grill is great, but and it's actually one of the top ones on my list, too, so I can't say much, but it's uh, uh, it's it's really expensive. But Double Dogs, I just I couldn't get into Double Dogs. Yeah, I couldn't either. I've eaten that, there a couple of times, and I wasn't super impressed. But I mean, well, the a la carte thing is what gets me. You know, everything is is separate, and I'm like, ah, just just give me a combo. Exactly. Make it simple. Um, uh, Jared, why don't you go ahead and do yours, buddy? All right. So I mean, I didn't want to pick total favorites, but I kind of have my <laughs> favorites of like each like cuisine, I guess you could say. Yeah, like sure this doesn't count, but as a former barista, I have to mention the fact of Spencer's. I like Spencer's a whole lot. It's a really good place right downtown. Like they've expanded a whole lot too, and I think they've upgraded their kitchen. So I haven't tried much of their food yet, but it seems like it'd be pretty good. So shout out to Spencer's. Um, I guess number four on my list, like. Just, if you're thinking breakfast in Bowling Green, if you've ever been to Judy's Castle, now that is a good place. It's over off of 31, close to the There's no castle with the road. castle, baby. They have huge country ham, and it's delicious. And I, re- I was impressed with what I had there. Uh, Mexican theme, uh, with Mexican food, like I'm not one of the Elmas people or whatever there's in Bowling Green. Because Franklin has pretty good Mexican food as it is, so shout out Solisteca, El Potrero, y'all are real. But if I'm in Bowling Green and I get some Mexican food, like K Pasta Tacos is a newer place. It's right over next to Lost River Pizza. That's got, they got some pretty good tacos and just open 24 seven. So if you're out at three in the morning, you can go get a bunch of tacos and feel good about your life. So K Pasta, I really like them a lot. They have a burnt avocado taco. 
well, not burnt, but just like uh, fried avocado. It's really <laughs> good. Uh, one of my favorite restaurants in Bowling Green, I don't know if I'll put it as my favorite, but one of my favorites is Tsunami. It's one of the Vietnamese, like Asian cuisine places. It's uh, over by where Barnes & Noble's is. It's like across the street from it in Bowling Green. And uh, I really like it for the Vietnamese stuff they have. They have pho, which is like the giant bowl of like noodles and vegetables. It's like a soup. I, I always like drain it completely. It is so good. Like it's one of my favorite places. They have some really good stuff there. It's a good loner place. Like on in the winter, like spring classes. That's where I would go a whole lot if I had a break between classes. It's really nice atmosphere too. But I mean, I really like what Jake said too. Lost River Pizza is amazing. Like the deep dish pizza, like you said, Ross, that Chicago style, I mean, that'll keep you fed for a while. <laughs> it's really good. But also, like, I think they only do it during football season, but their wings are really, really good. Like, they have the all-you-can-eat wings that you start off uh, with, like, six or so, and they have a bunch of good sauces and that you can keep uh, trying different kinds and boneless and just however, and you just keep going until you can't eat anymore. So Lost River is really good. Uh, I like it a whole lot. So those are my favorites. Uh, yeah, hey, if you got to run, buddy, you just go ahead. Uh, Jared, with being the musical man and talented guy he is, sometimes he's got to uh, do his music practice for his uh, church band. So, hey, if you got to run, buddy, you can do it. Uh, Ross. Right. I may disappear. We'll see. I want to hear what y'all say first. <laughs> okay. Uh, hey, Ross, go ahead. Let's hear yours, buddy. So he took a couple of mine. Uh, so I've got five. Uh, Ichiban over there on the Ah, uh, yes. I forgot about Ichiban. I forgot Samurai, too. What is wrong with me? Hey, that the, was, that's the, another one of mine. The yeah. white sauce there, the chicken bowl, the, the sushi. I mean, that, you know, for somebody who didn't really grow up eating a lot of Asian food, like, that place was just cheap and amazing. And it's, you know, I, I've gone back recently since college, and it's still good. So that place oh, yeah. is great. Shout out the fire uh, roll. Have you ever had the fire roll? Uh, yeah, the the one where they light the thing on fire. Yes, that was my first that, thing. Yeah. That was my first experience with sushi. Was that roll? Uh, but go ahead, buddy. Sorry to interrupt. No, no problem, no problem. Uh, a pizza place is actually a chain, but discovered it in the last couple of years through my buddies. Is Donato's Pizza there in Bowling Green? Probably yes, one of the best pizzas really. you'll ever have. Uh, pretty solid, right there. I think kind of off of uh, Cemetery Road. Okay. Um, Barbecue place, hole in the wall, Smoky Pig, over off Louisville Road. I don't know if you guys yes. have ever had that. Uh, that place is amazing. Just you would never, never have heard of it unless you've driven past it. But it's, it's, uh, it's. I think I had it. It was still good. They had some. They have some weird barbecue there too. You can get like shoulder and stuff like that that you can't really get everywhere else. So good Tompkinsville style barbecue would have no existed until I went to school down there. Uh, cool. Another Bowling Green staple I like, uh, Mariah's. I know they, they moved since I was in college, but, you know, they're still great. You know, just tried and true Bowling Green local restaurant. I thought and they closed. For number one, I, I go ahead. I said, did they close? I thought Mariah's had closed. They moved, from this, they moved from the square to right next to the ballpark. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I've been there since they moved. It is really good still. Okay, sorry. Go ahead, Ross. Not to interrupt you. So I remember, I remember in, in college with Mariah's, they had like the 30 year anniversary or whatever, and they were doing all these like trip things. I remember I was eating all these prime rib sandwiches like once a week there because it was, you know, their stuff so good. So, oh, number yeah. one, I had Judy's Castle, but Bowling Green, what I I love more than anywhere I've gone about Bowling Green is they have those little cheap breakfast places where you can. Get a breakfast piece for like under eight dollars. Another one over, kind of in the hood, uh, Teresa's. Yes. And the funniest thing, I don't know if you, if you guys have ever been in Teresa's. They got this picture of this. Uh, the, I should we shouldn't laugh about it, but it is this uh, this guy who passed away. I guess he was like related to the owners or whatever. It's, it's this guy with like a white tee and a smile. I always laughed about it. And Teresa's is just a great little breakfast place over there. It, for, uh, I guess that's kind of off Louisville Road too, but it's kind of in a weird part of town. But yeah, Bowling's got some good food. Yes, it does. Um, yeah, I have eaten at Teresa's, and I agree, it isn't a very unusual part of town. But it feels like one of those old country stores. Almost feels as what is my take on it. Um, but uh, so my top five. 
my wife and I, our first date was at Ichiban. It's not on my list. Yes. Uh, but that was my first experience with sushi, and now I'm, I don't do fish, but I do like sushi, if that makes sense. Uh, I do the uh, crab Sweet. shrimp instead of the fish. Uh, so my number five is Buffalo Wild Wings. Classic. Yeah, it's classic. I just oh, they have a new one now too. It's over by the mall. No kidding, that's awesome. Yeah, it's brand um, new. I think it opened. Did they, keep, did they did it move or did they do they have two locations now? I don't know. Do they have two know, or is there just one? I'm not entirely sure on that. I think they just may have re- like moved locations. So well, it's not really much bigger than the place that they have now, which is kind of weird. But they renovated. I think it may have been like the Applebee's or one of those kind of places that never was really successful into a Buffalo Wild Wings. So I haven't gone to it yet, but it looks really nice. Yeah, I think I know exactly what you're talking about. Okay. Um, Funny thing, real quick, Devin. No, you're good. Buffalo Wild Wings in Bowling Green. I remember when I first time I went there in college. You know, they had Western stuff on the walls, but you know, they had some outside decorator decorating the place. They had a Bowling Green State, like Ohio jersey on the wall, and that always cracked me up that was there for all those years. That is really funny, actually. <laughs> you know, some corporate person just threw that on the wall and had no idea. Um, but the, uh, actually, you're talking about Buffalo Wild Wings. Funny story, my wife and I went after the Toby Keith concert, like, or, no, not Toby Keith, Mag- uh, Montgomery Gentry, like 100 years ago, um, and it took over an hour and a half for us to get seated, and so mm. she had a very deep resentment towards that place because of that. Uh, so, number four for me is Samurai. I uh, love Samurai. Yes. The... Uh, their hibachi is always it's good and it's not as expensive as Shogun. I know I may yeah. catch some flag for not putting Shogun on my list, but their that, fried rice is incredible too. Yes, it is, and they do potatoes in their hibachi fried rice stuff, which not many places do. Interesting. Um, another one for me, number three is Rafferty's. Uh, I think it's more for nostalgia. When I was growing up, that's where my parents wanted to go. They always took us to Rafferty's. I never really understood why they liked it or where they got started on it. Um, number two is Outback. Oh, yes. So my running theory, I don't know if I've told you all this, but um, Asian places have Asian people working there. I say Outback should have Australians working there. Agreed. So it would just go with the theme, I'm just saying. There's uh, enough students so it's a lot harder to find immigrants from Australia, though. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, but, you know, luckily there's no walls or anything to keep the Australians out. Um, number one is Montana Grill. Um, I know it's burnt down, like, what, two or three times now? I don't know. Uh, but yeah. the uh, jalapeno cornbread is by far the most, is what puts that on my list. That it, it's, right. it's expensive, but it's good. Worth it. It's a worth it, though. That's a good investment. That's good stuff. Exactly. Uh, I've got one R.I.P. for an old Bowling Green restaurant that's no longer with us. Okay, what is it, buddy? Toots. Oh, yes, yes. Toots, oh, I would always get their wings for Super Bowl parties. That's good stuff. <laughs> yeah, um, I actually, because I was kind of a shut-in, I guess, uh, my family never went to Toots, but my cousins did, and when it would disappear, I was just like, oh, I, you know, I wanted to go there so bad, but... <sighs> R.I.P. Toots. Murfreesboro has a Toots and we don't. Sad day. Oh, straight bitties. I think it's really sketched, too. Yeah, it, it would have to be sketched to be in Murfreesboro. We always asked, you know, growing up, why Bowling Green never had a Hooters or anything. And it was always like, that kind of blew my mind. And then I, I looked into it one day. It's like, you've got to be within an X amount of population. So, like, Richmond, Kentucky has one. We don't. And, you know, we had Toots, at least. And then... No, we don't have either. So, yeah, that is. I mean, I've eaten at Hooters, and I didn't think it was worth it. I mean, it's bad as that sounds. I don't know if that's blasphemy, but it's you know whatever. Um, I think Hooters is expensive as all get out, considering they throw the gratuity in with the check. But you know, it's whatever. But that's all I've got for you tonight. Um, I don't know what you're messing with, dude. Are you got pills over there or something? Uh, I think that was my... I stepped on my daughter's little reading thing. Sorry. <laughs> no, it's all good. I was going to say, is it, is it antidepressant pills or something because of how bad we're doing? No. 
Uh, it's just it's a little singing elephant that yeah, she turns the page and reads. But uh, I would say uh, let's hope for a good Super Bowl this weekend. Let's. Uh, I know you guys are cheering for the Patriots to lose. I just want a good game, and then let's go two and zero this weekend with, with the tops. So yes, that's all I've got. Uh, Jared's hero. Jared's hero is playing this weekend. Uh, Tom Brady. And uh, Jared will probably be watching from his favorite restaurant, Cheddar's. So, we'll be good. Absolutely. (laughs) (laughs) All right, guys. Uh, Don't forget to check the Towel Rack guys out on uh, Towel Rack, uh, or at Towel Rack uh, on Twitter. And, uh, dude, they do, uh, sorry, they do daily uh, articles and everything. So, check them out. They do a lot of good work. Uh, follow on the tops and the news and such. Uh, follow us at Redout1906 on Twitter. Follow the podcast. Like and subscribe for more episodes, rate guys. Us, rate us. Let's get some rank. Yeah. Some, ratings, some comments. Yes, we need some ratings to help us on iTunes. So uh, we're getting up there. We're almost hitting the 1,000 download mark. So uh, hit us up, guys. And as always, go tops. Go tops.